Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. In the last video we already learned about how to place an app bar for your Android application. In this video here I am going to demonstrate how to place menu items on the app bar. So here is a simple example. So on this app bar uh, there are some menu options are available and here uh, there is one overflow icon is also available. So now here I am going to show you how to add the menu items into the app bar. So first thing we have to add some icon into our Android Studio project. So we have to download some icons. So open your browser. And search for Android material icons. Uh, from this website you can download needed icons for your application so here i need only one icon it's a share icon so here is the share icon select that one so in our application we have a dark action bar so we need some white icons so select the white option and change the quality now download this one into png format now open the download folder extract that icon now open that folder open android so here <coughs> different uh, resolutions of icon uh, of that icon available in this folder so in a real application you have to place all all these different resolution in your android studio project for for this training purpose here i am going to copy only one resolution so copy the icon now go back to Android Studio project. Now here I am going to place that icon inside the mipmap folder. So paste it inside mipmap folder. Select the HDPI option and click OK. So here I am going to modify the icon name into icshare.png. Ok now the icon available inside the mipmap folder. So now we can create the menu for the application bar. So you have to create the menu in the form of an XML file. So uh, right click the uh, resource folder and create a new Android resource file. So here I specify the file name as app bar menu. So here the resource type is menu. So select menu option and click OK. So now a new XML file is created. So inside the resource folder uh, there is a menu folder is also created and this is the XML file that represents menu for the app bar. Now go to the XML version. So now we can add the menu item into this XML file. So here the root element is a menu. So here we need one more XML namespace. So I copy this XML and paste it here change the identifier name into app here also we have to modify something called uh, here it is resource auto okay so now here i am going to add some items to the application bar menu item to the app bar so first item specify title for the item first we have to specify id so here i specify the id as action share now you have to specify title for the item uh, here the title is share now we have to specify the icon for the item so android icon icon available inside the mipmap folder icon name is ic share okay so now i'm going to specify one more property by using the newly created XML namespace uh, this one is show us action so here I specify the show us action into if row that means if there is enough space available on the application bar this particular item will be available on the app bar so now here you can see that particular share icon is available on the app bar if row means if there is enough space it will be placed on the app bar so this is our first item here i am going to add one more item specify id for the item now 
I specify the ID as action settings. Now specify the title. Here the title is settings. Now here I specify the show as action into never. That means this particular the second item is not is not directly available on the app bar. Instead, this item will be hide uh, behind the overflow menu. <coughs> So in this example here we have an overflow icon is available. If you specify the show us action into never that particular item is available inside the overflow menu. So this is our menu for the app bar. So now the menu XML file is ready. Now we need to add this menu to the application bar. For that go to main activity. So for adding the menu for the action bar you have to override a method called on create options menu so for inflate the menu xml you have to create an object of menu inflator call the method get menu inflator so by using this object you can inflate the menu xml file so by using that object menu inflator call the method called inflate so this method need two parameter first one is the menu xml resource and second one is a menu object so here the menu xml resource is r dot menu dot app bar menu and second parameter is an object of menu so for this method we have one parameter that is an object of menu so we can use that parameter okay so here we successfully inflate the menu so if you inflate your own menu you have to return true from this method okay so now we can run the application so now here there, there is no menu items available on the app bar so now here I am going to run the application again so now here we have uh, one menu item directly available on the app bar that is the share option uh, there is an overflow icon is available if you select the overflow icon you can see the second menu option called the settings because here uh, in the menu xml file here for the first item we specify the show us action into if room that means if there is enough space available on the application bar that particular item directly visible on the app bar but for the second item we specify the show us action into never that means that particular item will be hide behind the overflow menu I hope you understand all these concepts. For getting more Android video updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.